Hello and welcome uh, to another tutorial of Trendy Templates. This time I'm going to show you how to make this neck uh, ruffle that I'm also wearing as a skirt. It is the neck ruffle model A. Um, I got it into my inventory. I already unpacked it and here it is. And the good thing uh, in this pack is there is an instruction note card. It comes in six languages uh, they might not be translated very well all the time, but it is definitely worth looking at. Well, it starts with watch the video. Well, that's what you're doing now. And then step one, check what you need in your inventory. The ruffle generator and three panel maker scripts. You see here the scripts. They are easily recognizable by the icon in front of it. Three scripts and a generator. The generator always has a little star in front so it ends up on top of the list the neck ruffle generator step two we are going to resiprim and we are going to use the panel maker scripts to make a panel here it says repeat this step two times so we are going to use uh, all three scripts to make three different panels so let's get started let's start building a couple of prims that we can use to make the panels with. We go into the build, we click create and one more and one more. Three panels, three scripts. Use all three scripts. So let's have a look, a closer look while we're doing that. I go into edit mode I make sure I have the content tab open and I drag in panel maker script 1. Now have a look. It is called object and it is a panel. It is already textured with multiple textures. You can drag a new texture to the outside of this prim if you like, but we can also go on with the next prim. Into edit mode open the content tab and drag in the next panel maker script and there we go it also made a panel and if I look here it is called object 1 please do not rename those panels because if you do the script later on will not work it will look especially for this kind of panels and with these names and if you can't find these names it does give you a script error I have selected the third prim I went into the content mom into the content tab and I drag in panel maker script 3 and I get a very small one and that one is called object 2 okay all I have to do now is pick up these three prints take take and take and you will find them in your recent items in your and the objects. Good. What is the next step? Let's have a look. The next step is that we have to rest the generator, hit the go button and the, that is the post end. We have to give permissions and we have to add those objects we just made into the generator. Okay, let's do so. We start resing the generator. There it is. Let's have a closer look at the top. You see several buttons and the first button we are going to hit is the go button and the go button will make a post end res. There we go. And what you now maybe miss is right behind your inventory is a screen that asks you to give permissions to link and delink objects. You need to click yes in order to get the generator to work properly. If you don't give permissions, you will not be able to use the button link in a later stage. Okay, let's go into the edit mode of the, cont of the, the post end. You will see some other things here. Well, don't, don't touch them. They are there for a purpose. All you have to do is select your objects and drag them into the content of the post end. There you go. There they are. Now we can click 
the create button but if you're not sure you have given permissions if you are not completely sure that you haven't missed that um, screen please click reset again and give those permissions you can stand on the post and if you like you can also stand next to it you don't have to be on it I will detach this ruffle and I'm going to stand on the post end so you can see it and now we click the create button and it is making a ruffle you can see it it is making a ruffle around my neck and when it is all done and nothing more is being made you can hit the link button and then a long list of panels will be linked one two three etc and you just have to wait until it's done and when it is done you will be kicked off the post end and the ruffle here is ready to be picked up it has the name neck ruffle model A and so we can simply take it into our inventory and it gets into the objects now how to wear it I'm going back on the post end and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear the example neck ruffle like this I go into edit I go into the object tab and you see I'm using Firestorm I don't know if all the other viewers have the same features but if they don't well then maybe you want to consider using Firestorm as well what I will do is I copy the rotation and I copy the position so I use the, the two C's right I can detach this one now I go to this one and it has to be um, a attached to the spine so I say attach to and I go to spine and I see it is now on my back but I click add it I paste the rotation <coughs> I paste the rotation and I paste the position and that's as simple as can be the same goes for the skirt I can um, copy this one um, I will detach it first and I say copy and I say paste and now I have the second one this one I can simply wear because it is around the neck I go to the skirt edit I copy the rotation and I copy the position I detach it I say from this one attach to pelvis I go into edit mode I say copy the, this one and copy that one and you can see I'm wearing now my new and made by myself edit you can see my name as the creator of this ruffle well and this was the end of this tutorial um, I hope it was very clear to you like this if you have any questions please uh, send an offline I am to Stella and don't forget to mention uh, which ruffle or skirt generator you are talking about and try to descri is describe the exact problem. Thank you for watching this tutorial and uh, happy building!